guys, it's your unique freak, Sherry Rose. I'm going starting out with my eyeliner. I'm gonna do my eyebrows per huge, guys, per huge. We're still in the old setup. Um, doing eyebrows. And y'all have seen this all before. <laughs> so, probably gonna cut this. Don't know, it's up to my editor. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep talking through, I guess. I don't know, have yet to decide. Today I am in my headband with my hair pulled up in a bun, um, unlike the last video, uh, due to the fact that I have not had a shower. So my hair is not going to kink or crimp or do the crazy stuff that it does whenever my hair is wet and I pull it up like this. So just going in with the eyebrows, guys. And I do want to let you know these are older videos um quite much older because at this time we actually have our studio set up i'm in our studio recording right now um and i'll have more of those videos up soon i'm going to do my best uh to try and get these out a little more uh consecutively not waiting a few months in but um being that this is my first time doing this we are learning editing um, my husband is more of the editor I am learning some of it on the side, but <clears throat> we still have jobs. <laughs> we still have things to do, and when I'm at work, he's usually doing all the editing, so I'm learning to edit as well. Excuse that that's how I scratch my bottom lip. I didn't realize that was in here. That is how I scratch my bottom lip, guys. Looked like a donkey. That was awesome. Um, I, if I'm not mistaken, okay. So I use the Extreme Plumper, and I don't know if anyone else has this happen, um, but the next day, my lips itch so bad. Um, and I think it's, one, in my opinion, the reason being is the way your lips plump up and have this reaction to the plumper is it's actually kind of a, um, uh, oh, what is it called? Give me a minute. Allergic reaction. There you go. Um, it's called an allergic reaction and they put stuff in it to have that allergic reaction to your body so that your lips will plump up. That is the whole process of this, right? Okay. So my itch, my itch is my lips <laughs> itch like crazy the day after. So, um, comment and let me know if your lips do too. I'm sure it is a common occurrence. I've talked to other women who have dealt with this with plumpers. Um, specifically the extreme plumper, but of course, because extreme plumpage, I would think that'd be extreme allergic reactions. Um, we definitely know how that, how they, re how your lips react the day after. I gotta be more consistent with how I do my brows though, I guess. If I'm honest, that actually went pretty fast compared, I am trying to do it faster. I am not gonna lie, guys. I've stopped trying to be so messy with my eyebrows and I'm trying to do them faster so these videos aren't very long and you'll not have to sit here and listen to me um, be crazy all the time, so. <laughs> uh, another comment I've gotten is uh, trying to talk whilst doing the videos. I will work up to that, um, I would like y'all to, if I haven't made it, I don't, ugh, words are escaping me. <laughs> I'm not sure if I disclose this in other videos, but I have stream anxiety and depression. Um, depression doesn't really play into this situation, but um, if anyone else battle, ba battles with um, extreme anxiety and depression, or chronic, rather, chronic anxiety and depression, um, we all know that both of those go together in any circumstance, at any time. And I have noticed while t if I do my makeup while talking on screen, I have way more anxiety and I'm way more nervous. Um, don't know why, it's usually me alone as it is right now in the home so I shouldn't be but for whatever reason I am so don't judge me 
I'm, I will do my best to start talking whilst doing the makeup. Um, I've also been told that once my Tiki Talk is set up, that I should try doing, once I get to the point where I can, uh, doing lives, and that should help me um, do my makeup in front of y'all and talk to you. So it should make it easier for me to talk on videos. Don't know if that's true. Well, it looks like we're gonna find out together, guys. Um, um, you're gonna notice a different... <laughs> on the ghost channel that my husband and I have, ghost hunting channel we have, um, which may or may not be up after this or anytime soon because we're currently going on hunts and getting video footage and working out, also working out kinks. All new to us, you guys. Um, in our hunts and stuff, you will notice my demeanor in front of the camera is a very balled up anxiety written um, freezoid, and it's okay. Um, she tries really hard. <laughs> It's hard not to have anxiety, but it happens. Um, so again, I will do my best to make videos where I'm actually talking while I'm doing them, but they're gonna be longer um, and probably less easy to understand than what I'm doing right now. For one, you hear me mumble my words on this <clears throat> voiceover, and I say words incorrectly on here too, um, imagine that with 20 times of the anxiety in front of your face, the words will not come out correctly, nor will they come out in the accent that I actually have. <laughs> I do that a lot too. All right. Uh, not quite sure why I'm using my actual... Am I, is my brain not working this day? I'm not sure why, why I'm using that brush exactly. Normally, I have an eye concealer brush that I use. I will laugh here in a minute if I realize this and I start using the correct brush because that's not the brush I usually use, guys. If y'all watch my videos, that's definitely not the brush I use. Maybe I was in a rush. I don't know what was happening this particular day. Maybe I should start writing down what's happening in my life on the days I do these. Probably getting ready for work and I'm in a rush and um, made my brain come over and do the video whilst doing it. I have a lot of ailments and mental illnesses and problems with myself, um, being just a lot of different reasons. I have a lot of issues and that's okay, but amongst those issues comes brain workage. And to make the brain workage, uh, you got to conversate with it. For instance, I have to sit there and tell myself, oh, I don't want to get up on this couch. I, I think I'm ADHD undiagnosed but I believe I am um, because my my husband is and uh, we have similarities so I feel like I'm undiagnosed ADHD um, one of the things that he says is a big big indicator to him is the the coordination of my thoughts and processing of things and how I can jump from thought to thought at any given second. But it all makes sense in my brain because I'm having the conversation there, um, which I thought was a normal thing for people. I thought that was something everybody did. Um, apparently that is not true. Apparently other people can have concise thoughts and follow through with those one thoughts before moving on to the next. And I thought everybody could multitask and just do all the conversations in their brains at the one time. And apparently, I am wrong. But if you are like me, high five. Because 
especially going your whole life doing that to yourself and now as an adult finding that information out it's not fun because you could have thought see that worked um you could have been able to figure this shit out a long time ago and make it to where thought processing is easier but you found out as an adult actually i haven't found out yet i've gone to i'm yet to go to the doctor to be told i am adhd because Porito, I want, you know what, husband, you need to put, we need to make an animation of a Porito, a poor burrito, which is I, and you, <laughs> talking to my husband there, as he edits, <laughs> y'all can hear that too, but, um, yeah, so hopefully we'll have that little animation for you guys soon. A little Porito, because that's what I is. Uh, don't know how I got on that subject. Oh yeah, ADHD. There it is. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. It's fun to have that, because you you think of all the things. and Yep. Y'all are having fun with me, guys. Um, learning how to human. Look, I realize I'm not using the right brush, but I did it for not the concealer, but my sheer, um, oh my gosh, words, primer, my goodness. My sheer eye primer is what I use that brush for. Oh, I gotta get it together, guys. I am just a mess. Other good thing about me being in the studio, BT dubs guys, uh, is that I won't be as distracted as I am in these videos because I am in an active place in my house where animals are coming in and out, um, where my husband is doing things, where my uh, stepson is doing things, a um, lot of activities. So I will get distracted a lot in these videos, but. I am in my new studio, and in my new studio, I do not have these distractions, and it's amazing. It's also boring, but it's amazing, because then I won't look away from the camera as much as I do right in this video. Not right here, but in this video. Um, I'm not even talking about what I'm doing. <laughs> um, all right, guys, so I finally in on my eyeshadow. I've started doing blue. Hmm, I've done a lot of blue eye makeup with y'all as of lately. I am going to have to change up. But I like to match. And my hair is pink and blue. And I want to match that. So it's either pink or blue. I'll do something else, guys, I promise. There you go. I figured this out. Here are the colors I is using. I'm using this palette here. It's a Cara Duo. You've seen me use the pink orange version of this Cara Duo, but this is the blue version. Got it at Marshalls. I'm not quite sure what I'm trying to point to. I'm having some problems, aren't I? I think it was that one, the one I just touched. We will have that name up here for you. Yep, so that was just me faking me putting that on so you know what color goes there. <laughs> I'm great at this, guys. That was that was a little, little fakesies. Oh, what is it called? Yeah. Maybe I should have a Google in here so I can look up the things I'm trying to say in my brain to you. Okay, I'm going on with the shimmer. Uh, oh. I'm going with, I'm mixing both of those. I've got to learn how to aim on this palette to you guys, guys, because that, the aiming's kind of confusing. I'll have the names up for y'all so y'all know exactly which colors, but 
I don't know if y'all have ever tried tried doing your makeup palette in a mirror or something and then like trying to poke the one that you're doing with the brush but trying to look classy while you do it it's a little hard so that's going on my bottom lid here or my eyelid not my bottom lid <laughs> look at me trying to clean up the mess it's just easier to get a rag and do it. Um, some people, if they want to make that lid brighter with that color, they put more, or they make it white, and they'll put white shadow, or, <clears throat> excuse me, a much lighter concealer there or something, or primer even, um, to make it brighter. You can definitely do that. Um, I scared people with me doing the white under with the color with how bright I was so I stopped doing that because I'm all very I'm very light colored as it is so putting more white on me makes the color super bright but if you are dark skinned in a darker tone and you want these colors to super duper pop um, I do suggest doing a lighter concealer or a um, white eyeshadow as your base so that those colors will pop a lot more. So I do suggest that for sure. Uh, I am going in with a lighter blue. Don't think I showed you which blue. Um, that's going on the top lid per use. We don't do any dark up there. Normally, if y'all have commented at this point that you want me to do that, I will do that. Um, also, another thing guys, these videos that we're making, um, I'm making a few of them all at once because again, these are months and months of me practicing on the cameras and the lighting and all the fun stuff, getting over my anxiety, <laughs> um, all that. So these are a lot of practice videos. So any of the comments that you're commenting now, I'm not seeing until the future. So I'm actually going to do like a little... <clears throat> excuse me, sit down video where I'm going to review all the comments over every video and answer every single comment that um, is on there at the time before I get the video up. So I will answer a lot more questions then and comments then, of course. So you're more than welcome to comment and all that. Now I will be doing a follow-up video later down the road to catch up on all the comments on these videos since these are going to be old, older. Older. I love that I do little poses to myself. I've never realized I did that till now. The little fierce ooh, ah. It makes me feel like the Grinch. Not gonna that bad. <laughs> oh making that noise at the exact same time as thinking of the faces that I was just making made me realize that I do a little, um, a little Grinch in front of the mirror thing. And I love myself more because I love the Grinch. All right, I'm just going in and filling up the blue. Just correcting it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Taking that dark blue there, which we will have the name. What did I do? Oh, I think I messed up. And <laughs> so I'm going in with the other blue that I just showed you. Like I said, guys, putting this up to the camera and it it is it is difficult. It is difficult. So we're gonna figure it out. We're trying to do better. But I'm going in with that dark blue, the last dark blue that I just showed you. And going under the eye. Again, you don't have to do this. It's a preference thing. If you aren't comfortable with putting that color under your eye, you don't have to. 
but I will say it is a, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> I will say it is a big change um, in the overall design of this particular um, eye makeup design, basically because all the white, bright blues and lighter colors are up above and that dark blue underneath really makes it look like a good um, bedtime nighty, you know, scene. So, I mean, if you're trying to do this eye makeup exactly, I do suggest doing it um, because that is what I am going for at this particular moment. Again, you don't have to. Um, you can always go in with black eyeliner and mascara and all that. And again, would love to see your version of what you do with this eye makeup, for sure. They all are nice. All right, I'm going in with my dark blue sparkly eyeliner, which I don't show you the name because it is probably, no, I have it on there. Some of my eyeliners have uh, been, the stuff has been rubbed off on the side, so you can't really see the name or the maker. So yeah, that's always fun. It's fun when you're doing makeup videos that you don't know what the heck the name of these things are. Sorry guys. And these are all practice. Um, in the new studio, I will do better. I wonder if I need to do one of those little TSA things. Oh, there you go. Look, haha, <laughs> I'm showing you guys. Um, not very well, but I am showing you. Oh, I bet y'all are just as excited me with. I bet y'all are just as excited as I am to start the new videos. Oh no! I didn't realize I'm still using the contraption here. Don't use this. I need to do a big. We need to do a big animation or something right here. No, no, don't use the thing. Don't use this eyelash curler at all. Don't use any eyelash curler. I mean, you do you, but they're very bad. <laughs> they're very bad for your eyelashes. I do not recommend, I should say. Do not recommend. Bad shimmy. Ugh, it hurts me watching. And I am doing the mascara per usual. I start at the very bottom and I work my way up. <coughs> oh look, sorry. Um, this is the mascara. I'm a dum dum. See that bias? <laughs> I is trying. Ooh, my eyes are really blue. Blue brown today, actually. There's not much green in there. My eyes change color um, all the time. So it's funny to me to watch myself because I see the eye colors and they're noticeable to me because again, it's my eyes. I know they change color. So that's something I always look at. Um, isn't that so cool? You're definitely blue brown today more than anything. But of course the makeup's probably bringing that blue out a lot more. And I will start taking pictures as well, guys. Oh, here is our mascara again, our other mascara. The rose elf. Most of my stuff is elf because as a little Corito, uh, we go to the elf because they are not expensive and I love their products also. I've always used elf, honestly, not always. Um, I played with a lot of different type of companies. Um, and as far as price and quality goes, e.l.f. is the best. The best. Okay, I'm going in and I am putting that color. <clears throat> I'm putting the color behind my 
I are on my light eyelid behind the places of the eyelashes where the mascara got on. So I already did it on the other side, guys. So you didn't see that side, but I'm doing it this one for you. And I'm basically just taking the same colors and just going in and making sure that the mascara dots that you sometimes get are gone. All right, so I'm going in with concealer to do my contour. And if you watched my last video, like I said, I've changed up my contouring a little bit due to the weight gain I have. So it is going to change here soon as far as what I do as far as contouring. And I think we're just going to fast forward a lot of this because it's pretty much the same thing as I usually do.
All right, guys, I'm going in with the powder and getting the powder all over. I've finished doing the contour. And just usually going in with my e.l.f. powder and just finalizing everywhere. Buffing out anything that doesn't look like it doesn't blend well. All right, I'm going in here with the blush. I don't know if I'm gonna show you which blush I'm using. And I'm going in with some highlighters. So no, I didn't show you all the uh, blush I was using. Sorry about that. But I'm going in here with blush, which I'm pretty sure I'm not going to show you what that is either. I'm doing great at this this uh, tutorial-y thing, huh? Alright, so I'm taking my rag and getting the makeup off my lips, as usual as well. 